In this video, we'll look at what happens when we have HI plus H2O. That's hydroiodic acid plus water. The first thing we need to realize is that HI, hydroiodic acid, this H in front, that tells us that this is likely an acid. For HI, you really need to memorize that it's a strong acid. So we have a list of acids here, and the strong acids right here, there's hydroiodic acid. So this is a good list to remember. If we have it on this list, it's a strong acid. Otherwise, it's usually going to be a weak acid. So strong acids, they break apart completely when you put them in water. So hydrogen, that forms one plus ions. Iodine, that forms one minus. So we have these two ions here together that form HI. They're going to split apart. We'll end up with H plus plus I minus. And because hydroiodic acid is a strong acid, this breaks apart completely. And in water, these are going to be dissolved in the water. They're going to be dissociated. We're going to say they're aqueous. So we put a little AQ to show that they're dissolved in water. Sometimes you'll see the H2O written above the arrow, but because we have this aqueous here, that tells me that this is in water. One thing to note is that when we have H plus in water, what's happening is that H plus is going to add to the water molecules since it's aqueous it's in water so h plus will join with the water molecule to form h3o plus this is called the hydronium ion so most of the time you'll see h plus here sometimes you'll see h3o plus written they really are the same thing this is dr b with hi plus h2o hydroiodic acid in water thanks for watching